Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm going to be starting what I hope is a fun series and I do have a co-host if you just saw him. Uh, he's on one this morning so if it's if the video's choppy it's because he's barking. There was a leaf outside on the porch. He thought it was something else and he lost his mind until I went outside and showed him the leaf. So he's, yeah, he's on, he's on something this morning, but in any case, this is a new series I'm going to start and I don't know if it's a good idea or a bad idea, but I was going through the master scent list for Teddy B's looking to see what scents I would want to request for an upcoming pre-order. And while I was looking through the scents, I was like, oh my gosh, there's so many that I haven't tried. There's so many that sound so good that I would love to request. There's so many I haven't heard of. And then there are a good chunk that I have tried. And I thought, what if I did a video going over every single scent on her list? So that's what this is going to be. This is going to be a video series where we deep dive into Teddy B's master scent list. We go through every single scent. If I have them, like I have some sitting here right in front of me, I will smell them and tell you my thoughts. If I don't physically have them today, but I've had them in the past, I will tell you what I think of the scents. And then if I've never tried them, we'll just kind of talk about the scent notes together. If it's something that I have interest in. She's got a lot of scents. And so I was kind of back and forth on doing this video series because... I've tried a small fraction of her master scent list. Her master scent list is like 700 cents. And so I was like, well, you're probably going to try, you for sure are going to have a lot less than you've tried than more. And so is this video even worth it? But I still thought I, I really have a good understanding, I think, to how Tiffany blends her wax. And so even if I've never tried the scent, it could be fun to just go through each of them and kind of imagine what it would be like and maybe it will inspire us to vote for these scents for upcoming pre-orders. Now I will say her master scent list as I was looking at it is not up to date. It's missing a couple of pre-orders and so I have done my best to kind of figure out potentially what could be missing from the list but it's there could be something that I am I am missing. I'm gonna split this up by letter. So today we're gonna talk about the scents in the A category, scents that start with A. Some letters have enough scents that they'll be their own video, and some letters are short enough that I can combine together. It just depends on, on the letter. Like Z, there's one, you know? So there's a few that I can um, combine together into one. So then I was thinking, you know, these videos are fun and they'll be exciting, have a lot of Teddy Bees content coming to the channel over the next few months. I mean, these will take me months to do, but I think it would be really fun to have Teddy Bees content every week, every couple of weeks, because, you know, we have the pre-order and the hauls kind of in chunks, and then there's a lull where she's pouring pre-orders that you don't see too much Teddy Bee's content. So I'm trying to fill in that gap and just talk about Teddy Bee's as much as I can. So the thing with these videos is that they're going to be outdated the second after I film them because a new RTS will or a new pre-order will open. She'll have new blends. And so this will be outdated very quickly. And so the way I'm trying to remedy that is I made a Google Doc. So that Google Doc is linked in the description box below. And what I am trying to do, I have every scent separated by category. This is very much a work in progress. It is, I've really worked A really good because I was filming A first, then I'll move on to B. But if you go past that, it's really in rough shape. <laughs> I still need to format it correctly. I need to fill out information. So just focus on focus on the letter that I am talking about or any letters previously as I work down the list. But this I want to be a, a living document where whenever a new RTS comes or 
God, why do I keep saying her? She has a new pre-order comes and she has new scent notes. I can go in here, add the new scent, the notes. Um, I also have a cold sniff impression column where what do I get on cold? I have a warm review. So what do I smell on warm notes? So I put um, if some were like Game of Thrones blends or one blend that I'm going to talk about today is a in memory of scent of somebody who passed away. So anything just kind of special if something has been renamed, I put in that notes section. And then I also added a last time offered section. So if I know the last time that this was in a pre-order or if it was an RTS pour only or something like that, I am gonna try to add that information. That way when you go to look for a scent, you can see, oh no, it hasn't been offered in three years or something like that. Granted, I don't know all this information. <laughs> so I will need some of your help. Um, if you know some of the information that I don't. So for example, today we're gonna to talk about the A sense. If I'm missing a scent that starts with A that I did not capture here, let me know. Also, if it's been renamed or anything like that, let me know, I'll add it to the notes section. And if you know the last time it was offered. It's still very bare bones for a lot of scents, but that's why I want to make this a living document where it is a repository of all of her fragrances. If I've tried them, I'm sharing my reviews. And then the last time it was offered that way, you can kind of see how often certain scents are coming back or if there's something you want to request because it's been gone a long time, whatever the case may be. So the one that I have in the description box, hopefully is uneditable and just a viewable document and I will be the one editing it. But if you want to take this document and make it your own, all you have to do is save a copy of it. So if you go up to file and make a copy, you can make your own copy of it and have my, my structure and then you can edit it to, for, you know, has, as you see fit to work for you to keep on your own desktop or something. But that one, if you make a copy, it won't update with any updates I then add to it. It won't sync it, you know, to yours. So in any case, I hope that that sounds like a fun idea. And like I said, there's going to be tons and tons that I have not tried, but that's the fun of it. And I like having a a master repository of all of the information. That way we can keep adding to it. And it helps me too when I go back and try to figure out what I want to reorder. So I would love to know if you guys are excited about this, if you think it's gonna be boring. I was back and forth because I didn't wanna come on here and just be like, oh, I've never tried it, oh, I've never tried it. But honestly, that's gonna be a good chunk of it because her scent lists are so, so large. So today, because I kind of did the introduction, we're just going to do the A's and there's not too many scents that start with the letter A. So the first scent, oh, I should also say, sorry. <laughs> Every single scent will be listed in the description box with a timestamp. So that if you, three years from now, want to go back and be like, oh, what did Alexis think of Antisocial Moms Club? You can click right to that time in the video and it will take you right there so you don't have to search. That's all I have to, that's all I have to say. The first scent is a girl has no name. I have never heard of this scent. So I don't think this has been offered for a while. This is a layered blend of cute as a button and the house of black and white. So let me search the spreadsheet because cute as a button is one of her scents. And cute as a button is peonies, daisies, dogwood, pink kiwi, neroli and pink sugar that sounds like it would be a really nice sweet floral lots of floral notes there i don't know what dogwood smells like that's interesting um but a very floral scent but that pink sugar gives it that sweetness i think that sounds really nice and then house of black and white. I think House of Black and White is a lush type. 
and yeah, lush black pearl and snow white types. So this part has notes of lavender, chamomile, myrrh, olibanum, orange, citrus, apple, rose, bergamot, and neroli. So this scent is giving me thoughts of, let me get back to the top, a girl has no name, is giving me thoughts of like a, a perfumey floral scent. You have a lot of floral notes. The House of Black and White is kind of leaning perfumey quality to me. And then the Pink Sugar and Cute as a Button, I think would really sweeten this blend up. This sounds really interesting. I've never heard of this one. If you've tried it, let me know what you think. Next is A Song of Ice and Fire. This one has notes of cashmere cream, warm fireside, and a touch of cool peppermint. I am not a cashmere cream person. I don't love Tiffany's cashmere cream. For me, it feels like it takes over the blends a lot and a lot of the notes, other notes don't come forward because I really get the cashmere cream. That also could be because I don't love her cashmere cream. And sometimes when you don't like a scent oil, that's what stands out the most to you. But the fact of the, like the warm fireside and the cool peppermint, this sounds like such a cozy winter time fragrance where you're getting the warmth from the fireside and the cashmere kind of cashmere blanket-esque and you're inside on a cold day but it's snowing outside hence that that touch of peppermint this sounds really interesting and if it wasn't super heavy on the cashmere cream i think that i would really like that scent a very teddy's halloween Sweet lavender, creamy marshmallows, and vanilla pumpkin spice. That sounds so good and so unique. I never would think to pair pumpkin spice with lavender. That sounds very, very interesting. Tiffany has such a great lavender, and it's a lavender that I've never smelled before. I don't know if the sweet lavender is kind of her lavender that is in... Um, like Tiff's favorite lavender, but if it is, it is such a good blend and I've never smelled it before from anybody else. And so it makes me think that she blends multiple oils together to get her lavender because it is so unique. Creamy marshmallows. I know that seems super basic, but if you've had her fireside marshmallows, you know that it's just an extra creamy marshmallow. And so if it's similar, I imagine just a very sweet vanilla base and then vanilla pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice being what it is, but having that vanilla in there, I think would really cream it out. So what I'm thinking this might be is a very heavy lavender and kind of vanilla based scent and you're getting hints of the pumpkin spice in the background. Really interesting combination. Maybe that one can come back next year for like next Halloween or something. I, and I will say I'm filming this before I've seen the list for the September 6th pre-order. So some of these might have just been offered and I, I don't, I won't have any idea. A Viking Yule. This is mahogany balsam bath and body works type with a hint of Palo Santo. So love Tiffany's Palo Santo. It is such a good oil. Mahogany Balsam Bath and Body Works type. I've never had that, but is it kind of like mahogany teak wood meets like a vanilla balsam? I'm I'm picturing a tree scent where you're getting a lot of masculine notes. I am not a huge mahogany person, so I'm a little bit 50-50 on that one, but this sounds like a masculine man cologne tree type fragrance and I think that I would really I, I would definitely pick up a souffle of it and see how strong the mahogany mahogany is in it just sounds like a really interesting scent next is abracadabra and this is where I have to give summer michelle the biggest shout out because I told Summer that I was thinking about doing this series and I was like, yeah, but I'm really back and forth because there are so many that I haven't tried. I want this to be a helpful video series and not me just droning on and on about scents that I don't have. 
and she went through her collection and she made me samples of every single scent in her collection that she had that I don't. You guys, you should see the amount of samples that I have from her. She probably doubled the amount of scents that I would be able to talk about. So Summer has made this video series <laughs> possible. She's my supporter and I could not be more grateful that she took the time to go through her collection and make all these samples. I mean, everything is labeled, typed. This was so, so, so sweet, so kind, so helpful because then I can smell the scents, I can warm them and give you guys as much information as possible. So this video literally would not be what it is without Summer. So Summer, thank you so very much. Okay, but Abra Cadabra. This one is Pink Sugar, Magic in the Air, and Let Them Eat Cake. I've never melted this one, but yeah, this is so pretty. And I looked up Magic in the Air. It's a Bath and Body Works type. And so it has notes of persimmon, white iris, pear blossom, and water lily. Those are the top notes. Middle notes are almond blossom, coconut, nectar, and jasmine. And the base notes are bourbon, vanilla, musk, and sandalwood. So I'm definitely getting the pink sugar strongly. Let the meat cake is to me very much kind of a perfumey vanilla scent. This is very feminine, very body care, bedroom, bathroom type fragrance. You get kind of the muskiness and also the floral from the magic in the air. This is really, really pretty, you guys. A good feminine body care type of fragrance. I have not seen this one back in quite a while. But that one is Abracadabra. Next is All Hallows Eve. This is warm apple cider mixed with cupcakes at Tiffany's. So cupcakes at Tiffany's is vanilla fudge butter, buttery toffee, vanilla sugar, and warm cake. Sounds like a great scent. Love apple cider. I love cupcakes at Tiffany's. Although I do find that cupcakes at Tiffany's sometimes really takes over the blend and so I'm a little bit worried that maybe that would kind of drown out the apple cider but there's another scent on her list royal pink which is like pink sugar and cupcakes at Tiffany's and that one is blended so well and so I think Tiffany knows what she is doing and she is blending the apple cider to a point where it's strong so I really I do think I've never tried this one but I do think that you would get the apple cider with this and not just cupcakes at Tiffany's. What a good fall cozy bakery scent. Also, I love the name. Next up is Almond, the Bath and Body Works type. This is Almond Blossoms, Blooming Orchid, Soothing Vanilla, and Warm Sandalwood. Never had this one and I've never had this Bath and Body Works candle, but I would imagine that it is a cozy fragrance. The sandalwood, the vanilla, you're getting the apple blossom makes me think of kind of body care in a way. Very cozy with the sandalwood, but the blossoms and the blooming orchid, it's giving me a, like it's a little more body care leaning. So what I'm thinking is like a warm kind of sultry body care, but I've never tried that from Bath and Body Works. So is that out at a certain season? I don't think I've ever even heard of it. Okay, anything but basic. This is one that I had to add to the scent list. And so this scent was poured March 11th of this year. So this tells me that this scent list is at least two pre-orders outdated. So again, if there's any A's that I am missing, please let me know. So anything but basic, I have a souffle of it. This is Vanilla Cotton Candy, Lychee, Sparkling Champagne, Orange Blossoms, Neroli, Amber, and Sandalwood. This one has changed a lot since I first got it. You don't get a ton of Vanilla Cotton Candy or anything like that. What I really pick up on this one 
is the orange blossoms, the neroli. It is a floral scent. And then the sweetness from like the lychee, which I think lychee is a fruit, right? The lychee, the cotton candy are kind of second, second level. As far as sparkling champagne, there's nothing in this that is effervescent in a way. This is a powerhouse fragrance. I imagine that this will be so strong. So, so strong in the warmers. But yeah, what I really get is the orange blossom, the neroli, and then just touches of sweetness. Yeah. So that one is anything but basic. Next up is Anthony's Cabin. So this is one that many people know and love. And then this is the scent that is named after Anthony who has passed away. This has notes of birch leaves, citrus peel, pine cones, white florals, vetiver, sandalwood, and wood. It is such a nice scent. You really get the birch and you get the pine cones. I want to look up while we're here while you have nothing to do I want to look up Bath and Body Works winter because in the past I have thought that this is similar to winter I haven't had the candle to fully decide fully compare so winter has notes of white woods pine needles Sparkling clementine and spice clove. So similar, because Anthony's cabin has white florals and woods. It has citrus. It has pine cones. Does it have clove? Doesn't say clove. So maybe not exactly, but I do think it's it's a similar fragrance. Where you get the tree, I really get the birch in this. Let me go back to not winter to my master scent list. I really get the birch of this, and I get pine. But then I'm getting this woodsy, Christmassy kind of citrus notes as well. So I don't know for sure if it's a dupe. I would say if you like winter, you would probably like this one or vice versa. Great, great performer. Next is Antisocial Moms Club. This is one compliments of summer. So thank you, summer. Antisocial Moms Club. This is pumpkin spiced chai a splash of heavy cream and warm vanilla foam. So this is one that I never would have thought I would like, but I see people talk about this one a lot on her site. This is so good. It really smells like a chai, a pumpkin spiced chai, like something that you would get right now at Starbucks, you know, in the fall where you're getting the warm spices from the chai, but then you're getting those nice pumpkin notes. Any sort of heavy cream, vanilla foam, it just kind of gives it a little bit of a creaminess, but I don't pick out any sort of vanilla notes to this. This is very much a pumpkin spiced chai. This is so cozy. Oh my gosh, I never would have thought that this would be a scent that I would like because I'm not a huge pumpkin person and I'm not a huge like chai, coffee, you know, those drink scents but this just smells like something you want to melt in your kitchen open concept on a week, like a weekend morning or something during the fall. Such a cozy, cozy scent. Next is Apple Berry Bliss, AKA Dream Fire. So this one just got a name change and it got added to the Game of Thrones collection. I just picked this up in the August 2024 RTS. So I put it in here as Appleberry Bliss, but then I'm also going to put this in the D section under Dreamfire so you can see it both ways if you're familiar with one name. But Dreamfire has notes of black currants, raspberries, apples, and vanilla musk. Now, this one, so pretty. On cold sniff to me, all I really get is the black currant. This is very black currant heavy. However, this was just poured three weeks ago, two weeks ago, two weeks ago at the time of me recording this. And so I, 
yes, I'm getting black currant right now, but I really think that this is going to change as it cures and I think it's going to change when I warm. So of course I will update the warm review section of it when I get there. And I'm hopeful that more of the other fruits come out and that, that vanilla musk comes out a little bit more. I know a lot of you are maybe kind of hit and miss with apple. This is not an apple fragrance, but you definitely have to like black currant. It is very strong on black currant, which I do enjoy. To me, black currant is a really nice holiday winter berry type of scent. So that one is Dreamfire. Next is Apple Caramel Streusel Cake. So I don't have this one currently, but I have had this one in the past. This has notes of cinnamon spiced cake, vanilla icing, brown sugar, and crisp apples with a light drizzle of caramel. This is a very spicy apple cider donut type fragrance. If you like apple cider and you like cinnamon, you would really enjoy this one. For me, that cinnamon spice cake, those cinnamon notes were way too strong. It was, it was very heavy on the cinnamon and I'm just not a cinnamon person, but the apple cider, that part of it was great, but definitely had a lot of, a lot of cinnamon to that one. Then we get into apple cider donut, just plain apple cider donut. I've never seen this offered. Orchard apples, a hint of cinnamon, caramel, and a rich cake donut. I would imagine that's pretty true to an apple cider donut. Apple, woods, and spiced pumpkin. This one has notes of spiced apples, pumpkin butter, bakery crust, pumpkin pie spice, and hints of cedar and oak. That sounds like such a good fall blend. I, I would think it was fairly basic, but then you add in the cedar and oak. Just kind of makes me think of a nice mix of like you're baking inside, you've got your spiced apples, you're baking an apple pie or something, but then maybe you have your windows open, it's not too cold yet, and so you're getting the breezes of, you know, like the, the wind is blowing and you're getting the notes of cedar, oak, the trees outside. That sounds like a really interesting scent. I, I'm really curious about that one. We have two more for this, for this A section. Next is Autumn Blush. Love the name of that. This is warm vanilla milk, jasmine, and soft woods. I'm not a huge jasmine person. However, I feel like jasmine is used a lot in perfumey body care type of fragrances. That's kind of what I'm getting from this with the soft woods, the jasmine, the vanilla. It's making me think of kind of a uh, a woodsier feminine perfume. So I've never seen that one, I've never heard of it. Jasmine, like I said, I'm hit and miss on, but I would I would pick up a souffle of that for sure if that was ever offered. And lastly is Autumn Spiced Chai. This is chai, cinnamon, clove, spice cake, light hints of cocoa and vanilla. So this seems to me to be your your basic chai and then maybe it's got some additional spices to it it's kind of interesting to have like an autumn spice chai than the autumn antisocial moms club they i feel like they would be similar type of fragrances this one is making me think it has a little bit more spice to it than antisocial moms club that has the pumpkin this seems like it would be more of a a traditional type of chai. Oh my gosh, I just have to keep smelling this Antisocial Moms Club. This is so good and one that I never would have thought to pick up. Okay, so that is it for all of the scents that start with A that I'm aware of. Like I said, if there's one that you think I'm missing, let me know and I will add it to the spreadsheet. I hope that you guys are excited about these videos. I hope that you enjoyed. We'll be back next time to go over the B's. There are a lot of like B and C will be a video and then D, E, F, G, I probably can combine together. So this could be like a 15 part video series and that's okay. I'm just gonna spread them out over the next few months and love to talk teddy bees as much as possible, you know? 
But that's everything I have to share with you guys today. I really hope that you enjoyed going over all of the A scents in the Teddy Bee's Master Scent List. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye!